All right, what's up, YouTube? This is your boy, c Spec Kurt, man, in the flesh. And today I'm gonna tell you about the steering components that's gonna be affecting your steering wheel. You know, when you're driving, you got the wobbly steering wheel like that going crazy. If you got that going on, I'm gonna show you right now, real quick, the components that you need to replace so that you can get rid of that. Also, I'm gonna show you something that you can tighten up real quick, like that's gonna probably get rid of 50, the 75% of your steering wheel play, okay? Let's take a look, come on, come on. All right, so we're gonna look under here. Well, first of all, I'm gonna show you right here. First off, this is your steering intermediate shaft right here. This right here goes between the steering column and between the, the lower steering link that connects to the gearbox. All right, so, I mean, if you got hella, if you got a lot of miles in your truck, you wanna replace this anyway, so. Just to get that out of the equation, definitely replace this part. I'll show you where you go about doing that at. You can go by removing this. All you gotta do is simply take a screw out right here. There's another on the right side, and there's one right here where the emergency brake release is. Take those three out. You can pull, pull it out like this comes straight out right here. So don't break it. Come straight out and it drops down. You can let it sit. As you can see, I got my five position switch here. so. I got it securely seated right there so that I don't mess up any wires. But you can see here, that's my intermediate shaft right there, as you can see. All right, see that right there? I don't even feel like I need to replace this stuff after doing this quick fix what I just did But real quick, let me just show you what you need to do in the steering column to get up pretty much get rid of all Pretty much all the play that you might have Bothering you right now that you might think is other stuff. All right So all you got to do is pop this top cover off right here. It's just right here As you can see there's nothing holding it in place At least there was not for me. I'm not sure if someone might have broken in the past. I don't see where any screws were securing it. It was just pushed in there, like snapped together. So you just take something and pry this upper portion off and it'll allow you access here. Make sure your steering column is tilted down and you can access it from this side right here. Just turn your steering wheel, have your key. So that you can turn the steering wheel, you're gonna need a T25 torque wrench. All right, it's a T25, not a T27. T27 too big and a T20 is too small. So you got your T25 in here. And it's simple guys you just put that baby right up in there and we're on this side first we're gonna start on this side and you just snug it up some all right you don't go crazy with it all right because it's snugging up against something in there that's plastic all right so i've given mine some nice turns i've probably had to turn it maybe three quarter of a turn total before i started recording all right so as you can see there is no play there now it's nice and tight all right, so I'm gonna crank it up. Turn it around the other way. All right, now I can see my other screw there. I'm just gonna snug it on up as well. gave that one maybe a quarter turn earlier not quite a quarter but it barely moved just now but it's no more playing than like there was earlier it's I mean it's this is really taking a whole lot of whole lot of play out guys I'm amazed matter of fact I'm gonna get some Loctite and drop on those on those screws also but let's go ahead and lift this portion up here and let's see if we can tell see if we can see some play in our intermediate shaft down here Thank you. 
All right, so that's our shaft there. Sorry about that, guys. I'm deeply, I'm deeply sorry about all that noise. All right, so we either got some play in our intermediate shaft now, or it's in the shaft that's connected to the gearbox, which is the lower, lower shaft. All right, but we're gonna replace all these shafts, guys. Matter of fact, we're gonna go ahead and replace this intermediate shaft right now. And again, as you can see, it's just simply removing this bolt that you saw right here. I believe it was a 15 or 16 millimeter. And we got this bolt here on the other side. We're gonna remove it and throw that puppy in there and be on our way. So let's get to it. All right, so now we under here and we're just trying to see if we see any play. All right, so I feel the play, but it's not in this intermediate here. Let me get up under here so you guys can see better. Alright, keep doing it, camera. Ah. Ah. Alright, gang, so as you can see, this is where it connects to the steering gearbox. Oh yeah, I definitely got play right here. I feel it. All right, so this is also what I got ordered. I ordered this from Amazon and I haven't gotten it yet, but it's definitely on the way. But that's what the rest of my play is, guys. So definitely make sure you order the lower steering shaft as well as the intermediate shaft so that you can Get rid of those current issues. Keep going, Cam. Look at the amount of play that you get right there. It's from the load that is putting on the steering components. You can see where it's, it wants to push, but it can't because of all the weight of the wheel. So you can only imagine how much. Stress that puts on them tie rods and everything. But everything is tight under here though, guys. Just gotta get those components replaced. Ah, oh, goodness. All right, thanks camera. Everybody give my son a round of applause. Come out here to help, help me out. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get this intermediate shaft replaced real quick and I'm waiting for Amazon to get my lower steering shaft in over here. Got a few more days before we get here, though. Let's get it done, guys. All right, peace. All right, gang. So, turn your steering wheel so that the the bolt is facing out like so. All right, as you can see, it's pointed out this way. The nut isn't going to move because it has that tab right there, which is where the nut's connected to. So it's going to stop it once it hits the steering shaft. So you don't have anything to worry about in that aspect. Let's see. Hold on one second. All right, gang. Me up under here. All right. So the tools you need to get this portion of your steering shaft out is a 15 millimeter, as well as a 13 millimeter. You're gonna need the 13 on the other side of the bolt because the nut does twist. It's not fixed as it is underneath on the other side of this shaft. So you can see it right there, guys. Yeah, that's it, guys. All right, so. Fifteen over here. Mm -hmm. 
Thank goodness. Sorry about that torture, guys. You hear that thing so much, you just tune it out, and then you listen to your video and be like, oh my god, it's so annoying. That's what be happening. Trying not to hit this freaking... Let me try a different angle. Damn it. This emergency brake pedal out of the way, just push it in. I'll give you a little extra space. Put this over here like so. Give you a little extra space and we're good. Fifteen and a thirteen guys. Alright, we should be able to get this off with our fingers at this point. Let's give it a shot. Alright guys, so we're going to have to loosen up this boot on the other side. There we go. Because this knuckle here is not just going to go through. Okay. Alright, so we got our bolt and our nut out. Now at this point, just got to pull this puppy on out of here. See? Came right out of there, guys. Look at that. It dropped right out of there. So we're going to replace this. I just need to get that boot off on the other side. And we'll be good to go. So let's go around here and get this boot off and pull it on through. Again, I got my 10 millimeter ratchet on here. Removing these fasteners that hold the boot in place. It should be loose. It's, it's those very easy to remove fasteners. They just take a couple spins and they come right off, as you'll see here in a second. Once you break it free, they usually spin right off finger tight. Looks like this one is free. Ugh. Fastener like that right there. 10 millimeter, it's three of them. Two on the bottom and one at the top. All right, so as you can see here, I got that off. Just pull this boot right here out like so. And that baby is free. And then we're gonna grab it here and pull it up to get it out of this position. knock it out a little bit give me a moment all right guys so i'm taking the screwdriver i'm sticking in this hole i'm trying to pry it up a little as much as i can like so you can see it came up a tiny bit but not quite enough i need something bigger to work it up some more See what I can come up with. I'm gonna get my hammer, put my punch right here, knock this thing on out of here or something. Matter of fact, let's see if I can pull it out. Uh, 
me knock this thing out, guys. We'll be right back. So, gang, as you can see, I'm simply putting this right here. I'm trying to get it somewhere where I can apply pressure. As you can see, it's coming on up. Let's see if I got it loose enough to bring it on out. Guys, as you can see, this is our worn our old shaft. This is the old one. It moves pretty freely. As you can see, it's definitely got some age on it. And replacing that is definitely gonna give us some benefits as you can see here we're not getting any of that movement that easy out of this one as you can see it's not dropping it's nice and tight so let's go ahead and throw this baby back in there and get it wrapped up guys so let's get to it as you can see easy breezy it's your boy c spec bring it to you man no other way let's get to it let's get it let's get it let's get it we got a new boot and new intermediate shaft inside the boot. About to throw this baby back up in there. All right, so let's get this thing buttoned up, and I'll be back to you. Man, guys, man, your boy just got rained out, man. I was out there getting it in. It just came down on me. Just got soaked, man. The rain came down, and I got super soaked. <laughs> man, it's crazy, but yo, that was our fix, man. Um, I already ordered the lower shaft that connects to the gearbox, so it's on the way. It won't be here for the first. I'm going to rip all that stuff right there out of the fender well and throw it on. And our steering should be like new, man. So, yo, if that's what you need, if you got sloppy steering, go ahead and get everything. Inner, outer tie rod, center, um, pitment arm, eyelet arm, eyelet arm bracket. Place that stuff, and then go ahead and replace your own, your intermediate shaft, your lower shaft, and then oh, pop that steering column cover off and go ahead and tighten up those two. 25 um, T25 torque screws so that you can tighten up that slot from the steering wheel and, and that man that steering will be good as new so we'll see when I take it back out on the road but yo this is your boy C-Spec Kurt hope you enjoyed the video please like share subscribe to the channel in the meantime hit that notification button whatever you got to do stay tuned to your bro man put me out there on them on on them farms too, so them other Chevy owners can know what's going on, how to keep them trucks right, man. In the meantime, your boy C-Spec Kurt out of here. Peace.